Sue's husband, Archie, was injured in the line of duty. Her wish is for him to regain some of his independence. But his injuries mean he needs an automatic car. Archie works at the Soweto Vehicle Theft Unit. He's a very solid person, very full of morals. There was a lot of corruption and stuff, and he used to get very angry when he was trying to get roped in. He's um, very, very hardworking. He put his heart and soul into his job. Well, at work, they've got a, um, a massive hangar. You could probably fit a Boeing 747 in it. And they were, him and Vimpy were busy moving the vehicles, all the stolen vehicles, and putting them in lines and cataloging them and putting them all in order. And that um, there was a stolen motorbike, one of those big, massive scramblers. Um, he got on it, started it, and he went to go move it towards the back of the hangar, and it malfunctioned and rammed into a wall. And he sort of put his hands out and he put his leg out and hit the wall with his leg and broke both his hands. Good afternoon, Sue. Hi. Sue, tell us a bit about Archie because uh, you sent us a, a long letter and we know that he's uh, a detective inspector or was at the Soweto Vehicle Theft Unit. Yeah. What kind of damage has he sustain, sustained to his leg? Um, his leg was broken in half. Um, his foot was just hanging on with his Achilles tendon. It totally crushed it. He lost about two inches of bone. Um, he's had nine operations, about two bone grafts. It's just, it's, it's just been very terrible. Now he's been just stuck in a wheelchair for two years in the... Just in the house and, yeah, it's just been awful. Well, are we able to chat to Archie? Are you able to go into the room next door? Yeah, hold on. What's this now? Hello? Archie? Yes, how are you? Good afternoon, it's Mark Pilgrim and uh, Bailey Schneider, 94.7 Highfeld Stereo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Uh, we've just been chatting to Sue and um, she's just been telling us about uh, how much you, you love your job, um, how passionate you were about and also how much of an active person you have always been. Um, she said, in fact, in the letter that she wrote to us that she used to moan at you because you would never sit still. That's right, yeah. On the line... Uh, we have the CEO of Avis, uh, Wayne Divenach. Uh, Wayne, good afternoon. Afternoon, Mark. You guys do a lot of good work Rec recovering cars and treating cars for the uh, for our industry. And that you're a very hard-working and honest uh, person. And those values tie right in with our, with our values at Avis. And we believe that you deserve your automatic vehicle. So we have found one, taken one out of our used car lot. The little Yaris automatic sedan, and it's yours, aren't you? the house remains. Gee whiz, I don't know what to say. Gee, thank you so much. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, I really, I don't know what to say. Uh, I can't believe it, I feel like I'm in a dream. I'm not going to be stuck here at home. Uh, oh man, I don't know how to explain it to you. It was my birthday two days ago. So this is one fantastic year. For my wife, I just want to say, man, I've been married 19 years. Known you 21 years, you're the greatest wife ever. 